So, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially going to Orlando, Florida. Honestly, I just cannot wait for this adventure. I'm so excited. We're going to Discovery Cove, Epcot, you name it. I mean, it's just going to be an incredible week. I am so excited because the fact we just get to go to Orlando, just the fact we get to go to Florida in general, is just absolutely incredible. I'm going to be taking y'all on the journey with me. Now, the thing is, is that the adventure does not start today. It actually starts tomorrow because we are going to get packed today. And then we we're heading out at, I believe, like 5 o'clock in the morning to drive to the airport. Then we're going to go and take a flight to Orlando. And then we'll arrive at Orlando in our hotel. Our hotel is awesome. It has a lazy river as well, which is absolutely incredible. So I really just cannot wait for this whole adventure. If you guys do enjoy, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and just click the bell for post notifications. Um, but anyways, the point is, is that I honestly just cannot wait for this whole thing because we're going to have so much fun. Um... We're going to go to Discovery Cove, which you don't know what that is. It's basically this place where they have manta rays, um, dolphins, fish, just everything. Literally everything. They have this lazy river you can swim in, and there's, like, birds that surround you. It's, it's absolutely incredible. It is going to be an amazing adventure. I'm so excited for you all to see this. And then we're going to go to Epcot, which you don't know what Epcot is. It's basically where you can go around the world and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, guys, let's honestly just get right into this. Um, the thing is, I'm probably just going to be chilling. And doing absolutely nothing because I got nothing better to do. I've got like literally less than 24 hours till we leave our flight. Um, leave to go to our flight, sorry. Um, and get on the plane to go to Orlando. We're leaving really early, so that's going to be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. And uh, until then, uh, yeah, see you in the morning. So about, you know, recording at 5 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, at the airport and everything. Well, that never happened. You may be wondering, why exactly, JC? Why did it not happen? Well, we got to the airport, right? And we're thinking, okay, we're going to get on the flight at around 7 o'clock. It turns out that there were a ton of storms happening the day before in Orlando. So our flight, apparently, yes, my mom didn't get a message at all. No confirmation at all. No message. No notification at all. That our flight got postponed to 11 o'clock because the pilots and everything were tired. So we literally had to sit at the airport for an extra five hours. So that was really fun, and I didn't really get to record that. So basically, I'm sorry, I apologize. Just enjoy the rest of the vlog, um, and yeah, enjoy. Really nice. So yeah, we're in Florida. First experience. The airport is pretty nice, so I'm happy for this area. Alright, so we're here in Orlando, Florida. Um, to say the least, it's been amazing, but um, I really wanted to show you all this real quick. Because um, it is just freaking pouring out here. So I just wanted to show you all the, you know, the wetness of Florida, how it can get. I'm just going to stand here, honestly. I'm not screw it. I'm just going to stand here. Just... That was a horrible idea. Oh my god. <laughs> That was one of the worst ideas I've ever just done in my life. I swear, that was horrible. How are you doing today?
This place is an automatic W on my list. This is ridiculous. This thing is it's a mac and cheese burger. I mean, it's just ridiculously good. And bacon. And bacon.
vibing. What's up, man? <laughs> Beautiful, dude. This is unbelievable. How cool it is. This is Orlando, right here. Beautiful. A helicopter flying in as well. Oh, wow. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for the vlog part one, at least of my Orlando experience. Um, I just want to, you know, say thank you all for watching. Um, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, um, click the bell for post notices. Also join the Discord server down below. We are almost at 100 members, so go join when you get the chance. Um, but anyways, thank you all for the support. It's truly incredible. Um... But I actually want to move on to the next thing, and that is what I'm actually going to be talking about, and that is Discovery Cove, the whole experience. You know, people probably have questions and stuff like that. You know, JC, you know, how was the experience? You know, what did you do there? I think y'all pretty much saw what we kind of did there. There were some things I didn't really put in there because I didn't have footage, unfortunately. But listen, I'm going to be straight up honest with y'all. This whole experience at Discovery Cove was absolutely incredible. A 100 out of 10. Like, if I could put just, like, I'm not, I'm not kidding with y'all. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding with y'all. This was the greatest experience I've had in Orlando. I mean, it was so relaxing. It was so chill. I mean, it was hot, so don't get me wrong, because it's Florida. Go figure. Um, but the thing was, you're on the water the whole day. So, it, you know, it doesn't make a difference. It was absolutely incredible. The fact you got to swim with manta rays. Uh, the fact you got to swim with dolphins, which we actually didn't get to swim with dolphins, but we're actually going to be going back because um, we had a really nice guy in the front who said that we are going to get another free trip uh, because we didn't get to do dolphin riding. So that is pretty darn cool, to say the least. So, yeah, I honestly am just so happy with this whole experience. Um, it 100%. 
a 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. I don't care what anyone says. This was the greatest experience I've ever had in Orlando, Florida. And keep in mind, I've been to every single Disney park. I've been to Universal Studios. I've been to so many different parks in Orlando, Florida. And this was the best one out of all of them. There's no debate about it. This was incredible. I mean, if you like just chilling and relaxing and, you know, swimming with fish and just swimming in general, this is the, the, just the island for you. It is absolutely incredible. So, um, thank you guys, you know, for listening to, you know, my thoughts of, you know, Discovery Cove. I'm actually going to, you know, move it over to my mom. Yes, my mom. She wants to give you some advice and some tips and tricks for your trip to Discovery Cove. So, if you guys don't want any tips or anything, here you go. Thank you, Mom, once again, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Um, enjoy my mom's tips. All right, hey, guys, just a few tips before you go to Discovery Cove. First, if you have booked a dolphin swim or another type of special activity, you want to get there early. Activity time slots are assigned first come, first serve. So if you want a morning time slot to swim with dolphins or do whatever it is that you're doing, get there early, you'll be given an afternoon time slot. Sometimes, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Um, which, as you know, in Florida often means afternoon thunderstorms. Um, registration begins at 7.30, and the line starts forming way earlier than that. We arrived at about 8 a.m., and we had probably 400 people in line in front of us. It, it went very fast, but it's still, I would recommend getting there early. <clears throat> Second tip, you must wear a wetsuit or a wetsuit vest. However, the lines to get these are very long. You know, you often, they had different stations set up, and sometimes there were 50 to 100 people waiting in line to get their right sizes and such. So skip that line and find the Life Vest Station, which is located near the Stingray area. The Life Vests are great as they help you float while you're snorkeling, plus they're nice to have in the Lazy River because you can literally just float down the river and enjoy yourself. Third, if you don't like crowds, then don't head to the snorkeling area first. That's where it seems everyone heads right after breakfast and when the park opens at 9, everyone heads to the snorkeling area. And, you know, that can get very, very crowded when you're trying to snorkel and see the stingrays and the fish and, and such. So I would recommend heading to the aviary and, the, and or the fresh water lazy river first. Um, I think that would be a lot less crowded, as I said before, everyone seems to he head to the stingray uh, snorkeling first. Fourth, bring a water camera. Okay, so you don't miss out on any of those awesome memories while you're there. I got ours from Amazon. It was super cheap. And they worked great, and we were able to record and get a lot of pictures and capture our memories. Have a great time. You want to wait till it lets up for a minute? No, let's go. We got to book it. Come on. There's I don't other know people. We can even get in an Uber like this. It doesn't matter. We can go. Just come on. Oh! That was a lot of lightning. Come on. Go, go, go. Run! Oh, oh. Go, go, go! 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 Come on, come on, come on! Go right there! Go right there! Right there! Oh my god! Might as well scuba dive! Dang, man! Holy mother of God, man. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry. Come on, come on. Hurry. Here. We out here. Oh, my God. And there's a lineup. Wonderful.